The crabs we enjoy come from the ocean, a vast and complex ecosystem. Our demand for crab meat has an impact on that ecosystem. It's important to think about this, to consider the environmental consequences. We can't just take and take without giving thought to the future. The health of the oceans is tied to our own health and to the future of food. This is a conversation that needs to happen more. Overfishing is a major concern for many crab species. If too many crabs are caught, especially before they have a chance to reproduce, the crab populations can decline. This affects not only the crabs, but also other species in the food web that depend on crabs for food or that are preyed upon by crabs. Regulations are in place to manage crab fisheries. Things like size limits, catch quotas, and close seasons. These are designed to allow crab stocks to remain healthy. Bycatch is another issue. This refers to other marine animals that are unintentionally caught in crab traps. Fish, starfish, other crustaceans, sometimes even sea turtles or marine mammals, though less common in crab pots. Efforts are being made to design traps that reduce bycatch, for example, by having escape rings that allow smaller animals or non-target species to get out. Minimizing harm to the wider marine environment is crucial. Sustainable fishing practices are the goal. This means harvesting crabs in a way that ensures the long-term health of the crab populations and the ocean ecosystem. Consumers can play a part by choosing crab from well-managed, sustainable fisheries by asking questions about where their seafood comes from.